Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're gonna be reacting to Black Dahlia Alpha trailer, dude. Finally, she's here. First time watching this, and I'm also gonna try to analyze it if there's anything to analyze. This may be a arc system type trailer where you don't really see anything. But okay, let, let's just jump right into it, okay? I'm too excited to do the usual thing. I'll handle this one personally. Oh my god, she's so cool. Oh my god. Okay, they're actually showing a lot. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, she can cancel cancel it! Okay, what? Oh my god, she looks amazing. She looks amazing. Uh, that's a that, that's some under night in birth stuff right there. Oh, Ole, I really like that grab. Who was she again? Yeah, who was she? <laughs> Uh, the day the illustrious Blank Dahlia killed your entire family was the most important day of your life. But for her, it was just a Tuesday. Okay, that's it. June? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm fully back. I'm fully back. I'm gonna main Blank Dahlia. Oh my god, is there anything else? No, there's nothing else. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This one personally. Okay, you know that that this feels just like normals. That seems like a pretty good jab. Her slap, pretty nice slap right there. I don't know what could that could have been. Than stomp with her gun, but as we could see, she can basically shoot, and she needs to reload. My guess is that she'll probably have like Resident Evil style things like the incendiary grenade, the the acid grenade, and I don't remember which, just the explosive one maybe, I don't know. She has traps. She has traps for a good Oki, which seems really good. No one really has Oki traps in this game. Well, technically, technically, ironically, uh, the one that has them is... Oh, what's what's her face again? Squiggly, with her singing the projectile that is there. You could consider the tangle get Noki trap. Okay, yeah, she can do that in the air and on the ground. Seems to have a pretty good. Ah, uh, let's go back and go frame by frame. She seems to have a pretty good hurt box there. I don't know if they showed that specific, like, right, oh, cram, uh, was it this one? This one, okay. Let's go frame by frame. You can see it's on her now. It's on her arm, but it doesn't, it's not hitting her. Look how far it goes, and it doesn't hit her. And then it comes out and punches her. And it gets peak on it pretty good. Okay, they knew that was crazy, and they put it, they made so much attention to it, being able to stance cancel it. Being able to, okay, that, right there? That's an under the other night in birth I was telling you about. I don't know if she, oh, she looks so cool. I don't know if she's gonna have, if it's a specific thing, let's see. Like, yeah, it immediately went into it. So in Under Night in Birth, characters have an air dash, but the air dash is kind of like a jump forward, like a double jump forward. And that seems like that's what she's doing. I don't know if it's going to be a specific command, like a, com like a command jump, or they just made her to work like that. And that's a pretty good angle for a lot of matchups. Yeah. And again, that's also an Undernight. The Undernight characters can do a short hop too with the same like dash button. Like as you can see, this one doesn't go as far. This is an Undernight. Uh, the Undernight, this is like the universal overhead mechanic in Undernight in Birth. 
So she actually has good overheads. That's pretty good. Well, at, at the very least, she has high lows. That's pretty good. Work. Oh my god, restand combo from that? That looks amazing. Oh, um, oh my god. Okay, okay. They just showed you what you're actually supposed to do. They just showed you the game plan. Okay, um. Okay, I, I, I missed it. Let's go back like this instead. Okay. Nope. There it look that one is going down. The shoot up goes down. Still off screen. So that's just an overhead to try and catch you. That's going down. An instant overhead with a light, it seems. Like fastest instant overhead. You pro you cannot combo with this probably from this at all by itself, but with the grenade shot whatever boom you can combo from with it from it you can land on the ground and continue your combo it looks like you could even go into a medium or heavy there no that's insane i'm so excited yeah, who was she? Who was she? Okay, I'm fully back into Skullgirls when she comes out in, in June. That's so soon. Okay, I'll be fully back. I'll be covering her and probably playing her online. If you want to see me play her online, just let me know or anything. Little addendum because I didn't notice they actually put way more information. Is then she's gonna have her you know her big gun and she's gonna this they're gonna be slow and detonate an impact as it says here so they're not really zoning tools they're gonna she's gonna be more of a mid-range character which makes sense to with what i saw and onslaught jump that's what they call it and they did say it's like unique to her and the distance it goes will depend on how far you're from the character so if you're right next to them it will do the Unit short hop, and if you're far, it will be the usual undernight air dash. So yeah, it's an undernight in birth thing. And once he, and then here it says that she won't just have an explosive shot; she will have a flaming one that will create a flame, a flaming hazard, making her a little better zoning. And she might have a short range buck shot under two, and she has six rounds, and she needs to reload. Uh, the next special moves will be focus on escaping and tricky movement, and we still don't know anything about her supers. So that's pretty good. It's looking amazing. And the roadmap on June, you're gonna be able to play her like a very rough alpha state. Uh, once she comes out on June, if you have the season one pass, if you don't have the season one pass, you won't be able to mess with her. Then on the quarter, third quarter, I guess of the year. Uh, she's going to be on early access beta where she'll have her animations and voice acting and she'll start being tuned for final release and full release on the fourth quarter of 2022. It's pretty fast, honestly. I'm so excited. You know, more information. Where can you buy? Uh, this is actually big news. They're actually working on the Switch version and on, uh, on the Xbox One Series X version of the game. They're actually doing it. I didn't think it was going to happen. I honestly thought that was going to be shovelware at this point. But hey, there you go. There we go. Then more information. She's going to be playable at Combo Breaker. One more DLC to be now projecting an early 2023 release. It was planned for this. Yeah, the, the, it was honestly... If you thought they were gonna actually be able to keep the original schedule, you don't know how Skullgirl, how hard it is to make Skullgirl's characters. <laughs> and that's it. She's looking mighty fine. 
It's amazing. Cannot believe the Switch and Xbox versions are being worked on. And I'm excited to play her. Okay, now for real, I'll see you next time.